there was, there was, there was, there was empires in Africa called Kush. Timbuktu, where every race came to get books. Put my success to you, even if you wish me the opposite. Sooner or later, we'll all see who the prophet is. Subscribe. Long this up. The importance of diet. Um, well, first of all, uh, let's start with the acronym for diet. Uh, uh, by G. Simone. Diet. Did I eat that? Interesting. D-I-E-T. Did I eat that? Diet. Diet, we start here with did I eat that because that's usually the guilt you feel after you know you've eaten something that you were not supposed to eat. And eating things that you're not supposed to eat is, has, well, has become what a diet actually is. Somebody say you should go on a diet, meaning you should stop eating the stuff that's making you overweight or whatever. You should go on a diet. But really when you go on a diet, you're really talking about just eating healthy foods. You shouldn't have to ask, did I eat that uh, with a healthy diet? In fact, maybe the inflection is different. Did I eat that? Yes, I did. Meaning, you know, bitter herbs and roots. Did I eat that? Yes, I did. One last piece on this is that food is mood. That's what I always try to get across. Food is mood. There's no such thing really as food. That's sort of a fictitious title. The real meaning of food is chemicals going into your body and being transformed into moods actions. Everything you eat has an intelligence to it. The body is reading food. You eat food, but the body reads food and it reads it for its intelligence. It reads it to know how it should approach it. When you eat something and, it throw, and you throw it up, meaning your body rejected that food, it is because the body read it and the answer to whatever that was, was get it out of me immediately. The body's reacted in this way. So you speak to your body. Literally, you write to your body based on what you eat, what you put into your body. Now, keep in mind that the body will have you eating some crazy stuff unto itself. The body loves salt. Uh, because you're 98% sea salt water. You're 98% water, and that water is sea salt. So the body loves salt all day and all night. The body loves sugar. Your brain can't function without sugar, glycose. You need that sugar in your brain to get your brain started. All these things as well, even eating meat and, you know, all kinds of animals and stuff. The body craves this stuff and, and wants it. So the last part about eating correctly is know thyself. You know, you may come from a meat eating family. You trying to be a vegetarian and wonder why you depressed. No, go ahead and hit that cow, my G. Get that in you because it's better to be happy and eating. If you look, I'll put it this way. If you eat poison and you're happy about it, you die happy. Look at this, look at the logic of it real quick. You eat poison, but I'm happy. You die happy. Or you eat good food, but you're sad. You die sad. So what is the point? The point is be happy. Be content with who you are. Somebody else may be a vegetarian, and that makes them happy. You may want to chomp down that fish. You may need a ham and cheese sandwich, real talk. You might need a burger, cheeseburger at that, real talk. The body is reading food. It is not eating it like you are. So make sure you're writing the right messages to your body based on your traditions and who you were brought up by and as. It's not what goes into a man's mouth or into a person's mouth that defiles them. It's what comes out of their mouth that defiles Yo, them. it's Swiss. My name is JJ Bola. This is Shakara. Hi, sister. My name is Empress Money. What's up? It's the world changer, Michele Mean. You're locked onto Got Kush. Got Kush. Got Kush. Got Kush TV, the conscious platform for all conscious people. Stay tuned.
there was, there was, there was, there was empires in Africa called Kush. Timbuktu, where every race came to get books. With my success to you, even if you wish me the opposite. Sooner or later, we'll all see who the prophet is. Subscribe. Don't mess up.